Good morning and welcome, dear friends, to Wednesday morning prayer from a pretty miserable, cold and wet Wednesday morning here in Cumbria. I pray the weather's a lot kinder to you wherever you may be. And I notice that we have our dear brother Paul with us and our dear, dearest friend Jan. And those not logged in, welcome and thank you for joining us. So again, we light our light for peace and more so for Syria. We light this light in the name of our Father, Mother God, who creates all life, in the name of Jesus, the Cosmic Christ, who loves life, in the name of the Spirit, who is the fire of life, in the name of Gaia, our Earth Mother, and Mother Mary, our Heavenly Mother, who both nurtured the divine in all lives, and in the name of all faith traditions and none, we welcome you to this table of love. So let us be still and relax and know that we are in the presence of God and what you and I offer here will be a prayer of gratitude for our abundance this new day. So now we have our prologue of our brother and sister Essenes of Mount Sinai and we say we enter the eternal and infinite garden with reverence to the heavenly father mother god the earthly mother and all the great masters and reverence to the holy pure and saving teaching and reverence to the brotherhood and sisterhood of the elect wednesday morning we commune with the angel of the sun saying angel of the sun enter my solar center and give the fire of life to my entire body as these words are spoken you contemplate the rising sun and experience the accumulated solar energies radiating through your solar center located at the solar plexus sending healing life force energy through your entire body. So let us just sit in the presence of Brother Sun with the Angel of the Sun. For me, the Sun represents God's love. So feel that love penetrating your mind, your body and your spirit. And now for the Divine Office of Lords, for this First Wednesday of Lent. O God, come to my aid, O Lord, make haste and help us. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I should have said the second Wednesday of Lent, but it's the first week, really. Our hymn this morning is from St. Gregory the Great, the year 540, a long time ago. And this is what he shares with us. Now let us all with one accord, in fellowship with ages past, keep vigil with our heavenly Lord in his temptation and his fast. The covenant so long revealed to faithful men in former time, Christ by his own example sealed the Lord of love, in love sublime. Remember, Lord, though frail we be, by your own kind hand we were made. And help us, lest our frailty cause your great name to be betrayed. Hear us, O Trinity sublime, and undivided unity, so let this consecrated time bring forth its fruit abundantly. And now for our first antiphon. Lord, rouse up your might and come to our help. And our first reading is Psalm 79 and the theme of the psalm reads, Lord, come to visit your vine. 
O shepherd of Israel, hear us, you who lead Joseph's flock. Shine forth from your cherubim throne upon Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh. O Lord, rouse up your might. O Lord, come to our help. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. Lord God of hosts, how long will you frown on your people's plea? You have fed them with tears for their bread, an abundance of tears for their drink. You have made us the taunt of our neighbours. Our enemies laugh us to scorn. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us and we shall be saved. You brought a vine out of Egypt. To plant it, you drove out the nations. Before it, you cleared the ground. It took root and spread through the land. The mountains were covered with its shadow, the cedars of God with its boughs. It stretched out its branches to the sea, to the great river it stretched out its shoots. Then why have you broken down its walls? It is plucked by all who pass by. It is ravaged by the boar of the forest, devoured by the beasts of the field. God of hosts, turn again, we implore. Look down from heaven and see. Visit this vine and protect it, the vine your right hand has planted. Men have burnt it with fire and destroyed it. May they perish at the frown of your face. May your hand be on the man you have chosen, on man you have given your strength and we shall never forsake you again. Give us life that we may call upon your name. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. And we now pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, rouse up your might and come to our help. The second antiphon, the Lord has done marvellous things. Let them be made known to the whole world. Our second reading is a canticle reading from the prophet Isaiah, and the theme of the canticle reads, the rejoicing of a redeemed people. I thank you, Lord, you are angry with me, but your anger has passed and you give me comfort. Truly God is my salvation. I trust I shall not fear. For the Lord is my strength, my song. He is my savior. With you joy will draw water from the wells of salvation Give thanks to the Lord, give praise to his name. Make his mighty deeds known to all his peoples. Declare the greatness of his name. Sing a psalm to the Lord, for he has done glorious deeds. Make them known to all the earth. People of science, sing and shout for joy, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. And now we pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our Teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord has done marvellous things. Let them be made known to the whole world. And the second antiphon, ring out your joy to God, our strength. And now we read Psalm 80, and the theme of the psalm reads, Solemn Renewal of the Covenant. Ring out your joy to God, our strength. Shout in triumph. 
to the God of Jacob. Raise a song and sound the timbrel, the sweet sounding harp and the lute. Blow the trumpet at the new moon when the moon is full on our feast. For this is Israel's law, a command of the God of Jacob. He imposed it as a rule on Joseph when he went out against the land of Egypt. A voice I did not know said to me, I freed your shoulder from the burden. Your hands were freed from the lead. You called in distress and I saved you. I answered concealed in the storm cloud. At the waters of Meribah I tested you. Listen, my people, to my warning. O Israel, if you would only listen. Let there be no foreign god among you, no worship of an alien god. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out from the land of Egypt. Open wide your mouth, and I will fill it. But my people did not heed my voice, and Israel would not obey. So I left them in the stubbornness of their heart to follow their own designs. Oh, that my people would heed me, that Israel would walk in my ways. At once I would subdue their foes, turn my hand against their enemies. The Lord's enemies would cringe at their feet and their subjection would last forever. But Israel I would feed with the finest wheat and fill them with honey from the rock. Just bear with me, I've got two pages stuck together. And now we pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Ring out your joy to God our strength. And our scripture reading this morning, just bear with me. There we go. It's from the Book of Kings. We are your people, Lord, and your heritage. Let your eyes be open to the supplication of your servant and to the supplication of your people, Israel. Give ear to us whenever we call to you, for you separated us from among all the peoples, the peoples of the earth, to be your heritage. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the short responsory, it is he who will free me from the snare of the hunters. It is he who will free me from the snare of the hunters. And from the evil word, it is he who will free me from the snare of the hunters. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God. It is he who will free me from the snare of the hunters. And the Benedictus Antiphon, if you, evil though you are, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father, Mother God, who is in heaven, give good things to those who ask them? And now we come to the Benedictus, the Canticle of Zechariah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and he has redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant, as he promised through his prophets from of old, a Saviour who would free us from our sin, from the hands of all our enemies. So his love for our fathers is revealed and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham, our father, to grant us that free from fear, excuse me, oh dear, save from fear and save from the hands of our enemies, we should serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. 
And as for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God, the Most High. You shall go before the Lord to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of their sin and the loving kindness of the heart of our God who visits us like the dawn from on high and he will give light to those who sit in darkness and those who dwell in the shadow of death. He will guide them to the way of peace. Let us pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother, God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. If you, evil though you are, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father, Mother, God, who is in heaven, give good things to those who ask them? And now we come to our morning intercessions. We give praise to Christ the Lord, the radiant light of the world. He guides our steps in a path of light, and we no longer live in darkness. Let us turn to him in confident prayer. And the response is, may your word light up our way. And we repeat, may your word light up our way. Christ our Saviour, may we grow today in your likeness. May we gain through the second Adam what was lost by the first response. May your word light up our way. May your word take flesh in our lives and your truth shine forth in our actions. May your love burn brightly within us. Response. May your word light up our way. May we always treasure your friendship and come to know its depth. May we atone for the sins against your wisdom and love. Response, may your word light up our way. And now, my dear friends, let us be still in the presence of God and let us bring to the heart of God those whom we know and love who may be hurting at this hour. Let us be still. This morning I pray for each one of you and I ask the Lord God to bless your heart and to fill your heart with the risen joys of Christ. This morning we pray for our dear brother Paul and the person that was he was on the phone to for over four hours, we pray that they received comfort and solace. But we pray for two friends of Brother Sean, for Brother Paul. We pray for Sean, who's in a mental health unit in a prison environment. We pray that the Spirit of God will come upon him and that with professional support and medication, that Sean will resume a healthy life and that the friendship between him and Paul will be resumed. We pray for Joey, and we remember also Brother Paul's family. We pray for all the requests on the Order of Franciscan Hermit's Facebook page and website. We pray for Brother Mark and Brother Bjorn. We pray today with Jan for all who are gathered here and for world peace. With Brother Paul, we pray for Catherine and her intentions. And we pray with Jan for Sue and family, for all on our lists today. 
I pray this morning for all the Franciscan brothers and sisters of different faith persuasions around the world, that we can unite in Franciscan joy and emulate the simplicity and the teachings of Francis and Claire in our lives. I pray today for all our religious leaders, for His Holiness the Dalai Lama, for Thich Nahan, and also for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and also for Queen Elizabeth, the reigning monarch of our land, who is also head of the Church of England. We pray for them, and that they will rally their troops to unite against all the atrocities now being committed in Syria. We pray for peace within the mind and heart of every child of God, regardless of their belief, their color, or gender orientation. We pray for the homeless, the unemployed, for those in prison and especially on death row in America. We pray for God's children who have chosen to embrace a life of chaos a life of fear, a life of destroying the children of God through violent acts. We pray for the little ones, for their protection today. And I pray for my own spiritual family, my brothers and sisters in the Teo community, past and present. I pray for dear sister Sue and her son James. And I remember especially today, sisters Eleanor and Elizabeth. So let us now just be still. And let the cosmic Christ come and touch each one of us. Come, Lord Jesus. Come and empower us now to take back our power from those who may have wronged us. And finally we pray for Jan, that soon she will be fully recovered and recharged, and back in full voice, singing more songs for us. Let us pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, Mother God, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our foibles and indiscretions. Forgive us the times when we have failed in charity, in thought, word or deed. Lead us not astray, but protect us from the forces of negativity, despair, and evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now we come to our closing prayer. In your bounty, Lord, give us the Spirit, who alone can teach us to think and to do what is right so that we who without you cannot exist may live in loving obedience to your will. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus the Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And now for the Celtic blessing, the blessing of heaven, the blessing of earth, the blessing of sea and sky, on those we love this day, and on every human family, the gift of heaven, the gift of earth, the gift of sea and sky, the gifts of brother sun and sister moon, and the gifts of the animal kingdom, be in your heart, now and forevermore. Amen. And as we focus on this simple flame, for us who believe in Christ, and to follow his will for our lives. The flame represents the living Christ. 
So we call on Christ now. And as we blow out the flame, we blow the love of the cosmic Christ to you and to all those whom we have remembered here this morning. Amen. Namaste, Shalom, Inshallah, Paxet Bonum, Om Shanti, Solo de Caritas, Salam Alaikum, Peace, and may God's peace reign supreme in your heart this day and every day. Thank you again for being here. And in the words of Francis, may God reward you with his peace, with his love, and with his joy. And to dear brother Paul, sleep well and rest those ears. Take care and God bless.